Hey guys, James here. Alright, I'm going to do the update for all the corals and whatnot that I had gotten today. Uh, first off, there's my two little clowns that I got. There's the, uh, was, <laughs> the uh, Royal Grandma. I guess now it wants to be shy. Where'd she go? Uh, I don't know where that went. Alright, but anyways. This is what I ended up with today. I got the Aiken right over there. Which is a nice looking coral. Let me see if I can get a zoom in it. Zoom on. Come on. There we go. That's a really nice looking little coral. Alright, so that's one of them that I had gotten. For ten dollars there's a little purple mushroom I got nice little purple mushroom um, I forget what he called this one this is the one that does the pulsing I don't really remember what the, I don't know the names of them I'm sorry maybe some of you guys can help me out with the names but uh that one there then I got this giant Alien Eye. He's pretty awesome looking. I see my little emerald crab is over here. Let me see what he's doing. Hopefully he's not picking on him. I'll have to kill me an emerald crab. I can't really tell. I'll keep an eye on him. Oh, I also spotted... There's the little tiny mushroom right down there in the middle. Right there, that's one that survived as well as the one up here on the rock. Alright. So anyways, that's the corals that I got on this side for now. Pretty nice setup. This big guy, I got him for free. Dr. Mack had given it to me for free, this big alien eye chalice and um, I'm not sure what was the other one that might have been free but anyways that's those and then these are the other ones that I ended up picking up over here I've got this one back over here Let's see if my zoom will kick in Can I doubt it and everybody opened up by the way too with no problem after doing acclimating and whatnot. Yeah, I can't really get that to focus in on them tiny little guys. I got this one over here. Type of zoo. The lights are like extreme in here, so it's kind of tough. Let me try something here real quick. Go with the blue lights. Yeah, that might help a little bit. Okay, that's them. They might have wrote names down on them. I'll have to check. That's actually green on top. Yeah, I can't get a good picture. I don't know why it's being white. <laughs> but it is. Another type of Zola. Or zoos. I guess you could call them. That one I have to find out what it was called again, I forget. But, even if they told me, I would have forgot the names of them, honestly. I was just really happy to get some corals. And there's the other two. Um, one thing I did notice, I don't know where he went, but... I inherited a starfish, <laughs> a little tiny white starfish. I don't know exactly where he went, but I thought it was kind of funny. He just kind of hitchhiked himself on the corals themselves. Um, yeah, I wish I could get that one to not be so bright. It's a real pretty green. That one in the back over there, a real fluorescent green. 
kind of, it might be another type of Aiken because it does have the same shape as that one over here just a much taller version of it so uh, here we go let me see if I can get her before she takes off there we go there's my royal grandma that I got so that's cool I got one of those back but yeah anyways I'm gonna keep these down here for a couple more days and then what I'm gonna end up doing is once I get the sand, which is supposed to be here on the 20th, today's the 18th, so once that happens, I'm going to take all my rock out, all my sand, uh, put new salt. I ordered three boxes of 160 capacity gallons worth of salt, and then I'm just going to completely redo this, and I'm going to go sift through all this sand that's in here now and try to get as much life out of it as possible so, but that's what I got going on I mean I got 13 corals today and the other stuff that I showed you so that's what's up I'm really happy I have to do some reading up on these guys and whatnot but it's good to finally see life in here and it's kind of weird seeing these two clownfish swimming around because, I don't know, it just, it's strange seeing something swimming around inside here again. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. It's been like three weeks or so since all this crap happened. And, I don't know, and it happens, man. It really sucks, I'll tell you that. But, I bought the glue and everything tonight. So it's just a matter of once I get everything set up, you know, whether I have to drill some of these rocks to put the plugs in and whatever, I'll do it that way. That frag tray right there, I actually have to trim it. It's too wide by like, I would say a sixteenth of an inch. And because of its width, meaning from this point over to this point, will not go between these this rock and the actual glass I mean it's just that narrow I didn't realize it was that narrow so I mean, if you look at it it's really narrow through there I wasn't thinking about that I don't know if I can just put that frag tray up on a higher elevation or not I didn't want to burn the corals I didn't want to shock them so I dropped everything down into the bottom but uh that's it man so, anyways, there you have it. I'll keep you guys updated once I get my sand and salt and whatnot. And we'll take it from there. See how this thing comes out looking. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I'll keep you updated as I go. Bye-bye.